all my life. How fat are you? Well, I actually was fat when I was a vegan. I've never I lost, eaten I, meat. I, I, yeah, but that doesn't mean it's not good for your health. I mean, it's different when you're vegetarian because you're still having dairy. I was less. a vegan as well. Yeah, but why are you not vegan? Anymore? Because it was very hard mentally. To because do. because it's not for optimum health. It's not. It's, I, no, no, no. If it was good for you, you would still be a vegan. You would still be a vegan. But it's me just saying it's not. It's not veganism is everywhere. You can go to McDonald's, you can buy vegan. You can go to pizza places. Did you cut that? Do you, did you, did you know that? Did you buy it from the shop? Because when yeah. you come here... So if there was a cow over there, would you kill the cow and cut I it I would like kill a cow. No, I'm asking, I would how? kill no, a cow. I'm not saying how would you do it without no tools? It's in your face. Could you do it with I, your hands? The tool is the brains. But could you do it with your hands? If I have to, I'd have to. A cow, you can rip a cow open. Humans would do anything to survive. I don't know what I'm saying. The ultimate tool is the mind. The mind The mind is what... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's even the worst one. Yeah, but because of you. Yeah, no, I know exactly why. Do you understand why Bill was yeah, not one of the worst yeah, meats ever? Yeah, I know. Well, it's not the worst. It's actually one of the best meats. All right, so in terms of the torture of the animal. Yeah, but you realise you're still contributing to the torture by having dairy. All right, dairy so, yeah, I know, and I'm a hypocrite for that. Yeah, so give and up I'll, dairy. I'll, I'll, go vegan. I did, I did. Go vegan. And I will at some then, point. Then, but it's a steady step. Okay, go vegan. But do you understand the process for Bill? Yeah, but I. She yeah, says Bill. No, but I, I understand. Obviously, there is suffering behind, but we need the suffering in order to. But do to you understand how that bill was? How that bill was? I know, but to me, it's so funny you're this. saying this. Tell me, it's tell funny me. you're saying now, tell this. Me the I know because I was a vegan myself. No, but tell, I, was, tell I watched me. all the But tell me then. Tell me the process. Yeah. Tell okay. everybody the process of Bill. Okay, fine, I will. And I think people should know. I will give vegans the props for saying it, but they just mischaracterize. No, just give the process. Of veal. Okay, obviously to obtain the milk, they have to get rid of the baby cow and then they kill the baby cow. No, they don't kill the baby cow, they yeah. put it in a crate yeah. for four months and they don't let it move so the meat tastes more tender. So you're torturing a baby cow okay, it because you it's useless to the dairy industry. Because a male cow a male cow cannot stop lactate. Dairy. And I should, but a male cow cannot lactate. So all male cows are made into veal. Bill is just a baby cow put into okay, a crate but you're still and it can't move. To that and what as you're eating right now is a, is a is actually a little baby cow that has been tortured okay. for four months no, of its yeah, life. It's been is that okay? It's okay because we need okay, it for optimum cool, cool. health. Okay, cool, cool. I'm done with you. We man. need it for optimum <laughs> health. You eat, you eat torture more animals through all these medications people have to take. So if people want to keep going about, oh, we need to care about animals, well, care about the animals and all these medications you have to take, or all the cosmetics that's tested. Said all the hair dye, but that kills far more animals. Or lip injections, surgery, that kills much more. So I say, why not care about your health? And you eat animals for the sake of optimum human health. Uh, that's nasty, man. I think what's nasty is that you're still contributing it by having dairy. It's real. Real. <laughs> I do like, I do, I do go to halal shops for break. It gives me health. I was a, I was a vegan, and uh, it really deteriorated, I deteriorated massively as a vegan. And then I, I worked in a sushi counter. I was a vegan. So what happened was uh, we were throwing away a little sushi away every day. And I'm like, well, this is a waste. It's going in the bin. So I thought, well, why don't I try and eat it? And I started eating it. And oh my god, I like gain my sanity again. And then that, at that point, I realised that we need animal foods for optimum health. I eat raw meat because it's easier to digest when I eat cooked. Yes, it's much easier to digest because it's got all the bacteria. It's called the enzymes. Why do you think everyone keeps saying we need to have probiotics? Well, raw meat is the ultimate probiotic. You can't get better. Sorry? Scientifically better to cook the meat. Okay, let's talk about the science because I can, I can, I can oh, debunk all of that. I, I'm a big, I, I studied science when I was no, no, at university. No, no, Are you a scientist? Of course I'm not a scientist. So, sure. But I don't feel that si there has not been a single research done um, on what raw meat has, apart from just like some bacteria, which bacteria is not necessarily bad per se. 
I'm, I'm sure you get lots of uh, lots of young. Yeah. Lots of what? Because I rather do what I'm actually doing. Like, I feel like when you cook the meat, you're disguising it. You're trying to be scared from the meat. Like, oh, I don't want to eat that because that's an animal. But I'm like, well, just eat the animal. Don't treat it as meat. Meat is a living being. And I just feel like it's more honest what I'm doing you than disguise. Yeah, I think it's more honest as opposed to just. You made it up. And it's better for our health because when I ate cooked meat, it gave me issues. Like, it's harder to digest. Yet, oh, I'll swallow. Yeah, no, that's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, are you a scientist? Where do you get your information from? I get my information from. Oh, so you can read the scientific studies as well. But I think the best information is if you feel better. If, if, you, if you manage to gain health, if you manage to get off all the medications you're previously on, you no longer have to take supplements. Well, clearly it's doing good to me. You advocate this for children. Has she swallowed it yet? You keep an eye out, Bab. Because it's so much easier to digest. I mean, kids have raw milk in the form of mum's milk. Am I going to be on YouTube? Obviously, of course it's different. But obviously, baby's not going to have milk forever. She when it becomes older and needs to start having solid foods. Germs, on this. germs isn't bad for you. I think this is oh, one yes. of the biggest lies in the world that germs is bad for you. Guys, this is an interesting debate. Go vegan, be this. I want to see this. This is this. What are you here for? What's your name? I'm Jack. Still ate to meet you, Jack. Jack. What are you here for? What is this for? I'm just eating food. She's obviously to you. That's what. She's no, but so. So are you here to make a, a political statement? <laughs> I'm here to sort of say that animals are optimum for health. Okay, and what, but ha, do you think you can be healthy without eating animals? Of course not. Okay, so what? Of course not. So what nutrients can you get on your your meat-based lifestyle? I can't get on a vegan lifestyle. Plenty. Uh, well, this is the fun thing. You can obviously say B12, vitamin D. And you're, okay, so, so I was a vegan. So I was a vegan. So I know. I know this if, can, I, can I quickly tell you where you can get those nutrients from then? Because well, you, from supplements. Well, well, look, you can get from supplements. Well, you can get vitamin D from the sun. Firstly, we, vitamin D from the sun is crap. You need, you need. But, but either, you need way, either way, either way, if you're, if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to suggest, if you're going to suggest that supplements is are bad, where's your, where's your evidence for supplements being bad? Don't it yet. It's been chewing it for okay. 10 minutes. Well, if you... Okay, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Obviously, there is no exact study out there sort of comparing. Hi. <laughs> but it's all saying that for 20, 30 years of science can tell us what humans have been doing for an Well, I was vegetarian for about nine years and I was vegan for... She's from Birmingham. I was like a vegan for two years. The thing, the thing is, and then you end up being up really lost time, I'm not gonna, I'm not No, no. The, th the thing is, the thing is, we we don't go based on anecdotal evidence. We go on science. And the American but the, there is no proper science about okay, it. Okay, so the American Dietetic Association, the largest organisation of nutrition experts in shit. the world, in the world, they released a peer-reviewed statement in 2016 saying that a vegan diet can be healthy for all stages yeah, of life. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, based on research for the last 20, 30 years, but that doesn't describe the entire human existence. There's never ever been a Vegan. There have been Hindi vegetarians. That don't vegetarian is different. Yeah, vegetarian cow. I, I still wouldn't say it's the best diet, but it's def certainly better than veganism. But it's wh wh whether whether or not there have been cultures not doing this in the past is irrelevant to whether we can be healthy doing it. It is relevant. No, it's not. It is no, relevant because science science cannot talk about the entire human existence. Science can only provide data for yeah. the past 20, 30 years. And 20, 30 years. Eating insects. Do you eat insects? Our ancestors were also raping each other. Do you rape each other? It's irrelevant what our ancestors did. Yeah, but I'm talking about health. Your, your only proof is that some American Dietetics Association the largest, has... The largest organisation Yeah, but do you not think scientists can't be flawed either? Do yes, not, yes, and that's the good thing about science, is that you can prove it wrong. Yeah, and it will be proved wrong. I'm telling you, give it... 
Give, give it 10 more years and veganism, veganism. <laughs> well, look, let's, let's say, let's say, let's say um, I couldn't convince you on a health, right? Let, but let me ask you this. If you could be healthy on a vegan diet, would it be a moral obligation to be vegan? Of course not. Okay, okay, so it's not just about the health. So, so how do you morally justify not being vegan if it's not for health? Because... Well, you can't, you can't detach health from it. It's like saying, well, <laughs> no, no, you just uh, pass on it. <laughs> so you just... So you just said, it's not just about the health. You said, even if I could be healthy on a vegan diet, it's not an obligation to be vegan. But I don't think you can just completely just separate health No, no, but, this. okay, but you just have. You said it's not just about the health. You still don't think you should be vegan. If you could be healthy on a vegan diet, would it be a moral obligation? But you can't be healthy on a vegan diet. That to me, that just makes you no just sense. You just did. You just said. You but said you can't be. It's, it's like saying, is it healthy for a, a cat to go vegan? Well, no. Like it, vegans, vegans have lower rates of obesity, lower rates of heart disease, lower yeah, rates of type. Yeah, because you're starving. That's why. Lower rates of type. You're starving. Lower rates of type two diabetes. You're lower starving. Rate, lower rates of prostate cancer. Lower rates of breast cancer. Yeah, but that's largely because people who eat meat tend to generally not care. But if you actually get a healthy meat eater, they are healthier than the average vegan. Where's the, sure. Where's the evidence? Well, obviously, obviously there is no specific study out there. If we get on a vegan because, diet, that's abuse. Because most people yeah, who eat meat... Look at the Japanese people 30 years Precisely. ago. They were short people, thin. When the West integrated more with them and they started seeing the world, they shot up. And they're just like you and me now. And that's because of meat, because they didn't get meat in those days. So you're saying meat's making them healthy? Yes. Even though, even though in those parts of Asia, heart disease has gone up, obesity has gone up, their health outcomes are worse. But that's not from the meat. Heart, heart, you, you're saying heart disease is going up? Yeah. Okay, well if you actually look at the nutrition requirements, the nutrition requirements are telling us constantly to eat more plant-based, more plant-based. They're not telling us to eat more meat, they're not telling us to eat more dairy. Sure, but, but in, those eastern, in those eastern parts of the world, they are eating more meat, even if the guidelines are against that. They are. So that's, that was his point. His point was that we've, we've introduced meat and they're getting healthier. Actually, they're getting more unhealthy. That's not true. The Japanese live the far longest compared to everyone, everyone else. And they used to be living a far more plant-based lifestyle than they are now. I'm not against eating plants. I just think you need to have plants along with the animal foods too. But all, all the nutrients you named, vitamin D, B12, I can say you can get, you can get In them. supplements. Yeah, okay, but okay. So why, 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 what is wrong with a supplement? Tell me what is wrong with a supplement. Because a supplement can't replicate. Like, do you think a supplement can replicate this? Like a, a powder. Specific. Like, did, forget about just. Do you think a powder replicates this? Specific a powder. Look, let me answer this. Because specific nutrients can be replicated. Well, created. Like semi-vegetarian. Specific nutrients in that flesh. Can Omega three. Specific nutrients can be replicated in, in that flesh. Well, into powder. So you're basically trying to get everyone on supplements. You're trying to get everyone to just go go to the farms and take your supplements and take another bite. Take another bite. Look. Oh, I don't want people to be just having supplements. It's not healthy. No, no. Okay, that that is a positive claim you're making. Where is the evidence for taking supplements to help you? Okay. Where is the evidence? Okay, you, I, it I doesn't exist. You know it doesn't exist. Yeah, but just... It's just something you've heard from one of the carnivals. I, you can't just... I, I didn't become carnival because of carnivals. I became because I was a vegan and I was starving. No, no, but... What? Do you, do you admit Do you admit that there's no evidence for the claim? I was a vegan. <laughs> Sorry. Did, did, do you admit that there's no evidence for the claim that of taking course. a B12 supplement isn't healthy? There is actually some evidence for that. If, if you want one day, we can actually go and get the article service and I can help debunk all of it for you. But wait, no, not, not debunking things. You're the one providing the evidence. I'm not the one providing evidence. You're making the claim that a B12 supplement is healthy. So what is the evidence for that? Okay. Okay. The reason why it's unhealthy is if you actually look into the B12 in the meat. Okay, I know this might not be the sort of evidence you want, but this is actually more evidence. It's a lot more complicated than it just being the current B12 that's in the supplement. It's a lot more elaborate. And B12 doesn't just exist by itself. It exists with other cofactors. So if by just you having a B12 supplement, you're also missing out the other things that you okay, need. Which things? 
Obviously, we still don't know what exactly. exactly. You're, because you're making own, this up. No, but we've discovered B12 only like 20, 30 years ago. So you're saying that now we've discovered all the nutrients okay, so, in the world. So no, we haven't. I know, I know. There's so many other nutrients we aren't even aware of. So you're making up imaginary nutrients that's, that's in meat that, doesn't, that you haven't well, got any evidence well, for? 20, well, 20, 30 well, years look, ago, B12 look, was an imaginary look, nutrient I too. Can't, just because, I mean... Wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's irrelevant. The lack of evidence for more nutrients isn't evidence for nutrients so, that haven't existed yet. So, are you... Anyone can be on a vegan diet. Anyone can be on a vegan no, diet. No, they can't. Like being carnivores. What about babies? Do you think babies should... Babies should drink their mother's milk. Yeah, but after that, then? They should be on a plant-based diet. Should the mother oh, be on a plant-based diet? Yeah, so you're based... Diet. You're based when that's breastfeeding a, a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah then what, what do you say about all those vegans that end the children that end up becoming very seriously ill? Even if oh. the parents are still that end up okay. staying but vegan, what? they don't want their kids staying and vegan and because and they get really sick. But how, 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 how many? Are you ill? He looks no, healthy too. Look at his skin. Doesn't he look healthy? Look. Look. He looks a bit pale. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, that's a genetic <laughs> thing. Is she still vegan? Well, you know, so do I, but that's because we're from here. Social media contagion people like you who will put her in that direction. Are you vegan yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So I think, oh, you I could I could find yourself. so many unhealthy kids know, from meat eating parents. I, I do yeah. So the fact that you can find some you can find some children from vegan parents and say they're unhealthy is completely irrelevant. Diet is a balanced diet. We're dissociated from like what is actually happening in nature because the truth is nature is it's not this beautiful thing. It's horrible. Yeah. And we're dissociated from it. So obviously when you still see an animal being killed for the first time, it's horrible. I wonder why. But that's because we're, we're people living in the city. We don't, we're not connected to what nature really is. Who cares? If, I don't care if about we're nature. From, if we, if we look, so I morality. don't care about nature. Oh, no. Morality. Why is it that carnivals are so obsessed with nature? Nature isn't always good. Disease is natural. Disease isn't good. It isn't sustainable. <laughs> Ultimately, he wants to stop any carnivores, whether yeah. animals or anything, eating each other. You do you know what you're going to do? Solitary confinement. And this is what scares me the most. Evil See, happens by a thousand good intentions. Sorry, go on. See, look, you want to convince other people to go vegan. Is that true? Absolutely. Okay. Well, the truth is most people will not be able to stay vegan. And if you make meat even harder to access, people will have to end up having factory farm meats anyway. What are you talking about? Because you, because they wouldn't need factory farm meats if you're vegan. Yeah, but most people will not stay vegan. Most people cannot there's, do There's it. no evidence. You're not providing most, evidence for that. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, give it 10, 15 years and there will be evidence my for this. My daughter needs some B12 that oh, well, you've I, got in your okay, hand. Okay, oh, she can take a B12 supplement or eat four It doesn't work. It's a pretty unnatural It does work. It's the worst type it of it. And, and first of all, it, if you're a good vegan, you wouldn't even promote what the What do you mean by good vegan? Because the type of B12 she's in fortified milk she's clearly is a, a clearly very, bad vegan. Is a very poor quality. Yeah, well, I, I can't remember the name. One's methocolabin and one's cyanocolabin. Are you ever going to put like some salt and pepper and maybe some chili on it? It's like Austin Fan TV. <laughs> I mean, I'm a chef. Let me, you, let, me you, let me ask you this. You wouldn't accept me doing what you're doing to a human. You wouldn't accept me killing a human for their being But humans are not so animals. Let me finish. Let me finish. Humans literally are animals, okay? And yeah, but we're distinct. You wouldn't. You we would, are wait, distinct. wait, wait, let me finish then. Okay, so you wouldn't accept that. So, what is the trait difference between me and a cow that justifies killing the cow, but not me? Human rights. That's not a trait. That's something that we put onto them. So what, what is it about the cow, in essence? What is it about the cow that makes it okay to kill a cow, but not you? Because we need to eat cow, and the cow does not need to eat us. But the cow would eat us if it's starving. Well, the first like, there, are, there are documented evidence of herbivores eating other people. not even relevant people. to the question, though, is it? I'm well, saying, what is it about the cow that makes it okay to holocaust them? It's not a holocaust. Well, the, the definition of a holocaust... I mean, no, 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 let me give the definition. They killed them, didn't they? The definition of a holocaust well, is just slaughter on a mass scale. Does it fit in with that definition? But, but, but you, you're, you're literally making humans as exact same as animals when no, they're I'm not. not. No, I'm not. But you are. No, you that, said okay, let me respond to that then, okay? So I don't believe that a chicken is of equal value to you, and I don't need to believe the chicken is of equal value to you in order not to enslave the chicken. I just need to believe that that chicken's life is more important than your taste buds. I'm not eating it for my taste buds. Yes, I'm eating for health. 